I was always doing art in like, you know, high school, middle school, everything. I just never really thought like, like I never took it seriously. Like it would, like never looked at it as like a, a way to make money, you know? I and mean, I always wanted to make a lot of money. And um, most of the stuff that I sell is money. <laughs> My background is in construction. Art wasn't gonna be a, a life for me, it was just a hobby. And then um, when I got out of college, the economy was terrible. So I got a job and I just didn't like it. So I started selling paintings. I had a place locally that started hanging my work and I started selling them out of there like pretty well. So I decided I was gonna quit my job and become an artist. When I decided that, I said, well, if I'm gonna do it, then I'm gonna become you know, the best and I'm gonna treat it like a business. I started painting money you know, in 2013. The reason I did the money was I was doing something around July 4th and I did a show and I wanted it to be something like patriotic around the president's. So I was like, oh, the money. Then I started messing around with a $100 bill and just making it like all colorful and I started selling a lot of them. So I, I don't know, I thought for art, it was something that like almost like automatically justified its value a little bit more than another painting because it's money. That's why I really do what I do. I feel like in a way I'm like beating the system. You know, I'm like making my own play money to spend. The reason I did the American money, like everyone, like, oh, why don't you do another country's money? Like, oh, what do you not like any other countries? It's like, no, that's not it at all. American money to the average eye is boring because it's not colorful. There's a lot of really cool stuff inside money. When you blow it up, you can see it. Before I started the money and I had a gallery, I would have all different types of paintings on the wall and they looked like they were by you know, all different artists and they were all mine. So it was sort of a joke that like all of them were signed mystery. Like who did that one? It's a mystery. <laughs> But also, the other thing was like, I sort of really wanted to separate who I was as a person from who I was as an artist. I like to be known for what I do with the art by just from the art. I love what I do in creating stuff, but I still look at it every day as my business. And I think to be successful in anything, you know, that's how you have to look at it. I think I'm done. I think I'm going to uh, hit them with the torch.